Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you're having a good time with your family and friends. In today's session on Azure, I'm here to talk about Azure Private Link and uh, how it can help you to secure your network. So in simple term, Azure Private Link allows you to access your PaaS offering, which is there in Azure, uh, or a private endpoint, so making it more secure. So if you've been using Azure Platform as a service, for example, as you can see on this diagram on the screen, like Azure Storage, SQL Database, or Cosmos DB, you know that we have to assign a public IP and then you access that. But for a lot of corporate, for a lot of companies, it's not a very secure way of accessing these services. Because first of all, obviously it is being accessed over a public uh, internet. And then you have to also do a lot of work on the firewall side, both on-prem as well as on the Azure. So with the private endpoint or the private link, uh, you're accessing these uh, platform as a service and the data is being transferred by using the Microsoft backbone. So it's not going over the internet. So it's more secure. So that is one of the reason why uh, Microsoft has uh, brought this services. So if you have to look at the use case scenario, from the security perspective, it's far more secure and allows you to access these uh, platform as a service or a private endpoint. And actually I will show you how to create that. So security wise, it's very important. Another thing is, uh, which also comes under the security perspective is the data ex exfiltration. So because it has a one-to-one -one relation, so basically if you enable a private endpoint and there's a resource, it has one-to-one. -one. So uh, the other so resources won't be compromised in case. So in case a person who's trying to uh, maybe get that data and uh, uh, route this to a uh, Personal, he won't be able to do that because, uh, as I said, that it has one-to-one -one relation. And also, you might be thinking that there's also something what you call a service endpoints, right? So if you've been using these services, you have service endpoints, then what is the reason you need to have a private endpoint? Now, one important thing is that with the service endpoint, you still need to create a public IP. So a public IP for the private endpoint needs to be created which is not a case when we talk about the private endpoint. So say for example, if from on-prem, if I want to reach uh, a virtual network, and then from that virtual network, I can secure it and use it uh, to reach uh, the storage account. Say for example, in this case, we have been talking about one of the past offering, but it was not very secured way because I can still specify from which network I will allow the access, but there's still a public IP needs to be assigned to that PaaS offering. But with private endpoint, I don't need to assign a public IP. So I think it's much more secure. So these are some of the use case scenario why private link or private endpoint is useful in today's uh, uh, highly secure in case we want to create a highly secured architecture. So for this demonstration, I already have a VM with the name VM1 in my virtual network. So what we're going to do is for the demonstration sake, I'm going to create a storage account, create an endpoint through this, and then see if I am able to access through that VM on which I have disabled the internet. So let me go to the Azure portal. I'll go to the storage account. I've already got a resource group, so I'm going to deploy in that. Give the name for the storage account. I'm going to be in Canada Central. All the stuff, I will leave that to the default. Go to next, which is networking. And as you can see, uh, the first option, which has been always there, the public endpoint. So basically, you will allow the access through a public internet. Then you have public endpoint selected network. Now, this was the service endpoint that I was talking about, right? So if you've been using this, this is the service endpoint that I was talking about. Uh, but again, you still need to assign a public IP, uh, though I can specify from which network that is allowed, which I'm not going to do that. But this is the new option, which is a private endpoint. So that is what we're going to do. 
and let me go and click on add I will deploy this to the same resource group I'll need to give a name for my private endpoint storage sub resource I'll select blob you can choose file queue table all those options which are there within the storage account the virtual network I will deploy this under the Grish RGVNet and the, the subnet which is under which that VM is. And it also gives us to integrate with the private DNS zone. I will leave that to the default and click on OK. And review and create. Validation passed and click on the create button. All right, with storage account created, let me go inside this and uh, create a container. And OK. And the container was created successfully. So let me just try to go to my virtual machine, which with which I have already initiated the RDP session. And just to prove a point here, I don't have any internet on this machine. So if I go and try to browse, you'll see that it's going to fail because there is no, I have specifically disabled the internet, but we'll still try to access the storage account or the container in which uh, the container that we just created by using the private endpoint. So let me just close this. So what I've done is I've already uh, download the storage explorer in this so what i'm going to do is let me go and connect to my azure storage and for this i can use any of these options i'm going to use the connection string go next i can specify what display name i want for this let me give it share one the connection string i will get it from the azure portal so let me go over there by the way this is the private endpoint connection which was created the one that we just did right now so if i go under the access keys you see that i have this connection string which is here i can go and copy this and put this in the connection string tab. Go to next and click on finish. And you can see that uh, share one has appeared and I'll be able to see the container in a moment. If I go into the blob container, I should be able to see that container in this list. Taking some time, okay, so right over here, that's a container over here, that, and I can now upload and uh, the data into this and it will be fully secured. Now, just to further prove a point, if I go and go and check the NS lookup, just need to grab the URL. of my you'll see that it has a private IP so let me just remove this
here you see that it has a, a private IP. And if I do the same thing from my local machine, and if I try to access that, I won't be able to. I won't be able to access that because this is all uh, being accessed. It's using the Microsoft back, backbone and uh, this transfer of the data will be highly secured. And this was one of the reason why my Azure has brought this private link service. Uh, another thing that uh, just want to point out from the pricing. So I will say that you look in the pricing calculator. So there is a, a charge associated with this service. So right now it is only applicable for Azure storage, SQL database and Cosmos DB. But uh, the idea is to enable this for all the PaaS offering, which is there in Azure. And uh, that is a roadmap Microsoft has. But as of right now, these three, and there's a cost associated, there's inbound and outbound uh, costs. I'll recommend go to the pricing calculator and see what are the costs associated with this. But with private link, uh, it will make sure that uh, uh, the data is not transferred over the public internet. It is using Microsoft Backbone. It's fully secured. And uh, I think it's an advancement over the service endpoint, which was there. So it is in public preview. Definitely recommend uh, give it a try. And hopefully, you will like it. So this was the video on Azure Privately. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.